Hello and welcome to the Art Market Podcast. Can you tell us a little bit more about the um, book that you did with um, Lynn Green, Painting with Smoke? Yeah, well, um, I felt it was important to have a book because I think fine artists know this, but a lot of ceramists don't know this, that it's very important to have documentation of your work. And I've always tried to get catalogues and get work in, in publications and things, but I also wanted a, a book which, between two covers, gave an idea of the way my work worked and developed and grew over the years so that people could see that some of the strange things I, would, I was doing were kind of, there's a reason to them and there was a logical pro- progression from one type of work to another. And I was fortunate enough in two ways. First of all, I approached various publishers and they weren't interested apart from one uh, which sadly is no longer um, going uh, a publisher called Smith Settle ran by a man called Ken Smith who every year published a a book on local artists different disciplines each year and his firm was well known for high quality book binding and publishing and he said he would publish free book on my work. So that was lucky lucky break number one. Lucky break was number two was that well, I just started becoming friends with uh, uh, an author, Lynn Green, moved up from Southampton up to um, Huddersfield area because her husband was uh, working for Kurt Lees, Jonathan Drake, who was the cultural uh, officer for Kurt Lees. And um, I approached her to write the book because she was a brilliant writer on fine art, particularly modernism. And I wanted somebody who um, wasn't particularly a ceramicist but knew about art and could bring fresh light onto ceramics as an art form rather than being involved with the sort of history of British studio pottery and all the kind of baggage that, that entailed. Uh, and I liked her writing, very simple, approachable, and transparent writing. And she agreed to do that. So this was in the year 2000. It was published, the first edition. Interestingly, that book now, it went out of, uh, it went out of edition pretty quickly, about three years after publication. It sold out. And it's now, that first edition is now on, on specialist sort of limited edition book sites, websites for limited edition books. It's now going for over £200. So if anybody bought that book for 18 quid 10 years ago, it's a been a pretty good investment. <laughs> uh, last year, in uh, 2009, we um, published a revised edition, extended ed- edition of the book. It has uh, a, about, uh, well, it's got an extra chapter and a lot more detail on the technical processes and, and the specific aesthetics involved with the food firing. Uh, so it's had a, an extra chapter, a lot more images and this time it's published by Lynn Green's own publishing company because Smith Settle um, were bought out by the Dalesman company so uh, it's this has been uh, in publication now for a year or so and it's um, again you could buy it from my website or we can certainly put you in touch with uh, with Lynn Green and her uh, sales people and that's uh, selling for 35 pounds a copy hardback and how many editions are there of this particular... This is a 2,000 room. 2000 2000. Room. The first one was 1,000. So once they've gone... Once they've gone... Then it'll go for price. <laughs> it'll be a good investment. Yeah, again, yeah, good investment. Good investment. What do you love most about what you do? Yeah, I think it's taking a bit of mud, sticky mud, and making something beautiful out of it. And that gives me a lot of pleasure. So, but at the end of this fraught process, you stand back and you think, gosh, have I made that? And that kind of gives me the inspiration to go and make more. What's next for your company? In addition to all the exhibitions, yeah. uh, I think the, uh, the next big thing are um, a series of masterclasses next spring and summer in Italy. As I said before, I have a small uh, studio and house in, in uh, Italy. I don't actually make ceramics there myself, but I do run masterclasses workshops. So that's, that's going to be interesting. We, we started that last year and it was very successful. So we're, uh, we're going to continue that. And I also do a lot of drawing 
and I'm going to start doing some printmaking out of the, out there as well. I can't let you leave without telling us about your honorary mention. Oh, the Korean competition. This is a um, this is a biennial, a big international biennial ceramic competition and exhibition and conference that's held every uh, obviously every two years in um, Ichiyong, Korea, which is their sort of ceramics centre. Uh, ceramics are very very high status, important in Korean culture. I entered a competition, the competition last year, and got an honourable mention. Didn't get first prize, unfortunately, but I got an honourable mention, which was very, uh, very nice, very flattering. And I'm also, um, as you mentioned before, I'm um, an honorary member of a, uh, um, a, a kind of ceramics uh, association, a group of artists who are trying to push the boundaries of uh, ceramics in their own individual sort of processes. And this is um, based in Umbria, Italy, and it's uh, called Ceramica Libera, or Free Ceramics. It's run by um, young uh, Italian uh, ceramists, but it also involves uh, Polish, French, and uh, myself from the UK. And uh, as I said before, it uh, has exhibitions all over, all over the, uh, Europe and uh, it's going to be all over the world as well. Well, I feel very honoured to have having met you. And before I go, what advice would you give new artists just starting? So it's, it's a difficult one, but I think the advice I would give is persistence. Keep going. Uh, do everything you can to keep going. Keep plugging away at it. It's been lovely talking to you. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you at the art market. Thank you very much. If you'd like to know more about the art markets, go to www.artmarkets.co.uk.